Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. And I want to personally wish you a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and all of the holidays that you celebrate. I hope that you have had a wonderful holiday season and that it continues in your heart through the new year. Now, I genuinely care about each one of you and your successes and your struggles and um, all of the business building entrepreneurship that I know is in all of your hearts. I am a genuine entrepreneur at heart and I respect and love all of those that are entrepreneurs that are pursuing their dreams. That takes courage. So I celebrate your courageousness. It takes faith. You have to believe in the unknown. You have to believe and you're not really sure you, you can never be certain that these things are always going to work out but you have faith to believe in your hard work that will pay off that you're going to reap what you sow i celebrate your faithfulness it takes grit and determination to get what you want and guess what you have grit and determination You've been working at this. You've tried a lot of different things. You have taken risks. You have failed. You have succeeded. I applaud and celebrate your grit and determination. It takes perseverance and pushing through and resilience to be an entrepreneur, to run a business especially a product-based business in Q4, in the holidays, during the holidays. I celebrate and applaud the late nights, the early mornings, the last minute tasks, the undone to-do list. I celebrate that for you and with you. You will reap what you sow. As you're putting in your effort, your efforts will come back to you. It doesn't mean they'll be instant but they will be. I'm celebrating you. That's what makes my holidays happy. So I can see other people flourishing and doing their best and looking forward and having hope. It's not hope, like I hope so, like I'm not really sure, but I'm really hoping it turns out in my favor. No, it's hope in what is to come quiet confidence and knowing that you will reap what you sow if you do not give up, if you don't quit, if you don't throw in the towel, if you don't continually start something else and start something else, but actually see some things through, dig deeper. And that really is what it takes to, to really get the things that you want in life. All those things, those things that you're already doing, those things that are already markers of entrepreneurs. It's not just about having control of everything. Trust me, I don't want control of everything. I've tried that a few times. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea, not at all. I would rather release a lot of the control. Why? Because it releases a lot of the pressure and a lot of the responsibility when you let other people do what they're good at and let you do what you're good at. I am not good at prepping, packing, and shipping, which is why I outsourced that very early on. So these are just things I'm celebrating with you guys. This is not going to be a long episode. It's just going to, first of all, celebrate you. I want to celebrate you. I hope someone is. And if they're not, I'm here celebrating you. I see you. I know what you're doing behind the scenes. I know this takes every day determination. I know some days are worse than others. I know some days are better than others. We've all had best days ever and worst days ever. So... I'm celebrating all of these entrepreneurial qualities that you guys have. And I also want to share a really funny story with you. And I'm going to, for the podcasters that are watching on YouTube, um, I encourage you to go to YouTube to watch this episode so that you can see this little presentation um, that I'm about to show you. But it's my daughter's. And I wanted to share it with you because um, I'm just like, I was cracking up, of course, and then blown away that she has gone to this length to convince me of a Christmas gift. She's like, she made a PowerPoint presentation. And I want to share that with you because this 
covers the bases and yes it's made by a young lady a middle schooler um so yeah it's it, don't judge but it's really funny and i just have to share it with you i'm gonna read it because she doesn't want to be on my podcast right now, <laughs> which i don't blame her i said do you want to do this yourself she's like no so i'm going to read it and show you and it's just hysterical because this literally shows you that a little bit of work and determination and grit can at least better your chances of getting what you want and i just have so much respect and so this is like proud parent moment for me right because she's like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree i don't know about you guys but as an entrepreneur myself like i have a hard time taking no for an answer um i always feel like no means not yet or not right now but it just doesn't mean no you have to be very clear with me if no means no forever because i'm just going to be persistent the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Uh, I'm persistent. I'm determined. I don't like to give up on things, um, especially if they're really important to me. So um, I don't think that no always means no in, in terms of business and business deals and, you know, getting things like that that you want. So um, I always teach my children um, that we don't say can't at all. That's a bad word here. We say I don't want to. I'm afraid or I don't know how, but we don't say can't. And so she was determined to convince me that this is the Christmas gift that she wanted. And she covered all almost all of her basis. And we've been talking about this for a couple of months. This wasn't brand new, just dropped on me. So let me share my screen with you. And I'm going to present her um, presentation to you. And it is so funny to me that she did this. So let me share this real quick. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I'm hoping everyone can see all this. It's a little bit of a mess here. There we go. <laughs> okay, ready? Can see it? Why I should have a dwarf hamster for Christmas. So again, listeners, come watch the podcast episode on YouTube so that you can see this presentation. It's so funny. Um, here we go. So because they are very cute, like look at these pictures. These are this is her pictures here, these cute little hamsters. And I will take care of the hamster and Ella, Ella's one of her besties, <clears throat> has a hamster, hence the reason she wants one. And they, she could help with her hamster stuff. So she knows how to care for it. That was part of her plea. And parents, I do understand that you think that our cats will try to get the hamster, but get this, there's something called a lid. <gasps> Gasp, literally, that's what she says. And it shows the picture of the lid here. Wait, can cats open lids? The bottom says, no, the answer is no, no, they can't. <laughs> but I don't want a cage like this, shows the, the one kind of cage. She says, I don't want a cage like this because this is the good one. She also added that she believes that the top cage is animal abuse and they shouldn't be in there. A good place to shop for hamster stuff is a site called Night Angel. They have a lot of cool hamster items, including all of the ones seen here. I also need a playpen to hold my hamster in. I can't get the mesh hamster playpen because they can climb up the sides and escape. So you see these pictures here, the left, the right. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Other things, I could use my friend's hamster items, and their old stuff while I save up money for their new stuff. So she's already thinking about the financial responsibility of having a hamster. Other things I know, I already know the proper feeding and cleaning and care of the hamster cages and food and bedding, which is this. And she's showing the picture here of the good proper care, which she also told me in her presentation that her bestie has shown her all these things at her house and she knows exactly how to care for it and clean the cage. Now let's play a guessing game, she says, which one of these is the best for the pets? And then she showed me that the colorful ones are not good for them and we should have all natural bedding. And then this. Please think of the hamsters. Think of their cages and how they'll be stuck in there at the pet store forever. Think of the poor hamsters. They need a home. Our home would be a great home for them. They wouldn't have to watch people at Petco tapping on the glass and watching them suffer. They need a home. Think of adoption first. Think of the hamsters. Oh, and I'm not trading my cats. The end. <laughs> Guys, isn't that crazy? 
I'm serious. Like this is my 12 year old coming to me and telling me and giving me this PowerPoint presentation. All the different supplies. Oh, and attached with this was all the supplies of lists of stuff that she needs and stuff she can get from a friend and stuff that we might have to get as part of the Christmas gift. So she literally lined all of it up for me, made it a no brainer for me to say yes to this. And honestly, back in the day when my kids, my, my older kids were first born and I was just a new parent, um, my pastor used to teach a mom's Bible study class. And um, one of the things I remember him saying all the time was, as much as you can, try to find reasons to say yes. There's tons of reasons we can say no, and there's going to be a lot as parents that we're going to have to say no to and really good uh, value reasons why. So if you can say yes, then then do your best to do so because there's no reason why not. So I digress. Guess what we're getting for Christmas? <laughs> How can I not respect this, you guys? How can I not take this in consideration that this child has done this and she is all out committing that this is her Christmas gift? So I just wanted to share that little fun story with you, even from a 12-year-old, that when you are determined and you put your mind to something, you can come up with all of the reasons, all of the ideas, all of the goals uh, that you want and, you know, make a case for yourself. And I love that she did that and that she was determined that the squeaky wheel gets the grease and she did everything she could to convince and show and present all the reasons why. And even still went further and said, you know, she, we already have three pets. We have three cats. Um, and that was my biggest concern is that like, this is what cats eat. Like we cannot just have that they can't coexist. And then I talked to some other people and realized that that's probably a specific lid and a specific lid lock. And if you're very careful not to let it roam, then you should be okay. They can coexist. And I, we talked about death, we talked about death of the pet and how this could happen. So here we are. We're going to probably have a new fur member of our family by the end of the year. So yay. Um, I just wanted to kind of bring this uh, to you as, you know, not a full episode here. We just have a few minutes, but I just wanted to let you know that um, there is someone cheering for you in your corner. There's someone that sees your hard work, that sees and knows whether we acknowledge it every day or not, that you're working and you your reasons are important. Your why, the reason you started this in your why is for a reason. And your actions, other people are seeing. They're seeing. They're seeing your hard work. Your kids your family, your spouse, your roommate, your co-workers probably, your energy, your time, your investment is not wasted. Other people are seeing you chase your dreams and guess what? They're being inspired by that. Hence the 12 year old here with the presentation. She was convinced that if she could present all of these things that she could, you know, get to her goal, get her dream. Her dream right now is to have this hamster and um, I just love it. I respect it. And I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that maybe feel some of that, that like no one's looking, no one cares. No one's, um, you know, we don't all need accolades and validation all the time, but it's nice once in a while for someone to say, Hey, I see you. I know you're working hard and I know those results aren't coming instantaneously, but they are coming and hanging in there and keep working towards your goals because time is going to pass, whether you work on your dreams and work on your goals or not. Time's going to pass. And if you're going slow, slow is still a pace. Slow is still a pace. Slow is fine. It's still moving. Just make sure you're not moving like the rocking chair kind of moving. Moving. You're rocking. You're moving. You're staying busy, but you're not making any progress. Gauge your progress. Look at it. Some of the things like I know that I, I'm just like a self interview here um, for, for just a second because I want to just share a few things with you so that it can be, encourage you to do ask yourself these questions. Just a few questions. 15 minute hustle. A few questions here. If you don't know 15 minute hustle, look at 15 minute hustle and Kristen Ostrander, Google it and you'll see my book. Um, 15 minute hustle is also on our website. If you haven't read it and you have, don't have the chart, uh, please reach out. I want you to be able to have the, that you can print one or we have some here we can mail out. Um, 
the 15 minute hustle strategy is what gets me through most of the time. It gets me started on doing something. So if you take a 15 minute hustle, you can answer a couple of these questions. I'm going to ask the questions and then actually answer them for myself. Um, and I actually really haven't thought through a ton of these. Um, these are just kind of off the cuff. I'm just giving you just a, a the end of the year, kind of how you do your own little mini reflection. And this is different than what we did a couple of episodes ago um, when we talked about our growth and our, our plan of where we are, where we, we're going to go type thing. So go back a couple of episodes and listen to that. But this is just a really brief um, way to answer your answer some questions and I'll share my answer with you just as a little example here before we close. What are some of your big wins for the year? Oh my, okay, one of my biggest wins for this year is finishing Wholesale Bundles 3.0. It is done. It is brand new as of today and I'm very, very proud of this work. It is college level material. Um, it's actually going to be reviewed in 2023 um, to maybe be added to a couple of um, community colleges. It qualifies based on the curriculum and the material and all of the things that are provided. So yay, that's a big win. Another big win is I was just accepted into the Goldman, Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses um, program. Uh, they run 10, uh, for 10,000 small businesses. They, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, it's not a huge application process with an interview and in-person classes and things like that um, that help small businesses to grow and impact the world and impact the community and grow. Um, and they only select a few businesses and this is a nationwide program, so per thing. So I'm going back to school um, and not really back to school. But I'm going to Wayne State University to take the Goldman Sachs 10,000 business. This is program that they have accepted me into. There's only about 30 students in the class. Um, and I'm really excited about that, but also very, very nervous. So that's a big win. Um, I didn't, you know, I applied and I hoped to get in, but you, you know, they have a big selection. So um, I was just feel very blessed to be a part of that. So I'm excited about that as well. And Wholesale Bundles is done and I'm so proud of the work and the effort there. Um, lots of information and stuff that's out there that's going to help people like you grow and change and grow your businesses and reach those dreams. Um, so another one, uh, another question. What has been the most challenging thing in your bit what challenging in your business this year the most challenging thing in business this year has been uh discontinued products because of the last couple of years of, of slowdowns um there's been some discontinued products or products that are there like we don't know when this is coming back on some of our best selling items so that's been really challenging to try to fill in those gaps um and another thing is um the the hard part about owning two businesses my amazon is my full-time business as well as mommy income um it's difficult to spread the time between both and i've had a challenging time balancing the time between the two so it's been so sometimes one suffers when the other and doing wholesale bundles this year was a lot a lot a lot of time and man hours and that kind of caused my other business to suffer a little bit. Even though I have a partner, I just didn't have as much time to dedicate. So that was the most challenging part, but guess what? It's it's, it's done now. So we can kind of get back into a new normal of, of a regular schedule now that this big project is completed and I'm excited for the world to see it. Um, another question is, what do you want more of? What do you want more of? Um, connection with people, real, personal connections and growth as a, as a person, not just as a business owner and not just as in business, but I just want more growth um, and more joy. The, the growth brings joy for me. So I would like to have more um, growth in my life, my personal life, my relationships, my relationships with my children, um, spiritually. I just want to grow overall um, in small incremental pieces. I'm not in a hurry anymore. I used to be in such a hurry to get to goals and just keep knocking them over and things like that. Now I understand a little bit more of the value of slowing down. Um, I, some of it by force this year, um, sickness, illness, different projects going on, different flood at our up north cabin and things like that. Just a lot of things have forced me to slow down a little bit. And I realize I, I am a better person for that. So I'm gonna do more of slowing down. Um, which brings me to the next question is what are your goals for 2023? <laughs> well, we don't have time for that. That would be like two full episodes. I think I'm a, I'm a big dreamer y'all in case you hadn't noticed dream big step small, you know, the book, you know, I, I'm a big dreamer. 
Um, but I still have to break all these things down because in reality, I can only do so much with the time and energy that I have. And so I have to really get crystal, crystal clear. And one of the goals I have for 2023, I kind of hinted at it, I think in the last episode, um, is actually I'm reducing the size of my Amazon business. I'm going to get even more focused on a, on a couple of specific niches and I want to sell uh, less SKUs. So my one of my big goals for 2023 is to reduce the number of SKUs I have by half. Now, I know that seems counterproductive when I literally just said what I want more of is growth. <laughs> in the area of growth that I want to grow in, it actually doesn't include my FBA business. That's something we're actually scaling back just a little bit. Um, not a huge ton. We still are reliant on this income and I still love creating my bundles, but that's what I want to do more of is be, be get a little more creative about about exploring my bundle options. And we have to drop a couple of SKUs in order to do that, to make the finances available for new bundles that I have been sitting in my brain for a while. And so I'm a lot more excited about that. I want to get to less SKUs, less number of SKUs, but more um, products that I'm just really excited about, not just things that make money. I mean, I'm actually really good at creating ideas that make money, um, but I, I want to make money and more of a, I just want to feel good about the products and brands that I'm bringing to the table, even if that costs me a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to kind of niche down more on and focus more on quality um, and presentation of my bundles rather than the amount of bundles I need to sell. So we're actually reducing our business a little bit more. And honestly, that comes with not wanting to work as much. Um, it takes a lot to maintain, uh, you know, 200 SKUs, 150 to 200 SKUs. So we want to kind of reduce that and manage a little bit less. It's okay to want less. It's okay to decide like, oh, the money's nice, but I'm working too much. And I'm missing out on things that I, I don't want to spend my life like that. Time is so precious to me. So I want to have more time to do things that are super important to me. And that is going to require scaling my business back a little bit. And that's okay. I'm, I'm good with it. I like it. Um, and then finally, what, how do I plan to accomplish my goals? Well, um, if you're a part of the Amazon Files Hub, then our last coaching session, we actually did goal planning and goal setting right there live with each other. And we went through the questions and we wrote down um, what we're going to do with our day, our week, our month, our, our, you know, things like that to get to our goal. And that's, uh, you know, I planned out my weeks as far as, um, you know, every four weeks, I'm going to kind of do the same thing um, and, and kind of keep it in too much of a routine. So if you're a hub member, go check that out. Um, that's available to you. And if you're not a hub member, hold if you're not a hub member, um, but you're a wholesale bundle student, then um, please go to mommyincome.com forward slash hub and look at our hub membership options um, for, for you. It, it's for wholesale bundle students and we do cool things like that. We spent an hour and 20 minutes together creating goals for 2023. One big goal and all the way to mapping it out to the action steps. We did it together because we are not going to make time on our own most of the time. So that's part of the hub is having this accountability. <clears throat> And the sample I used in there was how, uh, bringing one uh, new bundle every month for the entire year of 2023. So finishing 2023 with 12 new bundles in the store. That was like the sample um, goal that we set and we broke it down all the way into weeks and um, then even to days of the week of what you would do. So um, that's how I plan on accomplishing my goals is writing them out and then making a plan and knowing I don't, you know, I love the flexibility of being an entrepreneur, but I also need to set a flexible schedule so that I know on Mondays I'm doing this, on Tuesdays I'm doing this, and it creates a routine that's just um, frees up your brain power to do creative things when you're not actually thinking about what's the next thing to do on my list because you're always behind talking to me y'all so not just you um so what how do you plan to accomplish your goals so i'm going to read the questions one more time so that you can kind of write them down and um we'll put them in the show notes as well um but you can also write them down and then just ask yourself these questions set a 15 minute timer and just kind of dot down your thoughts here and at least you'll have a little bit of some goal setting for the the, the year what are some of your big wins for this year what has been the most challenging in your business what do you want more of? What is one big goal for 2023? And how you plan to accomplish that goal, being accountable for yourself. It's just a quick reminder that we do have a couple of events and workshops coming up. The, the first one is literally next 
week. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get to the trade show and start the year off um, building bundles with you guys. I'm so excited. Uh, January 4th through the 8th in Dallas, Texas. Um, Wednesday, we're going to do meet and greet. Then Thursday, we're going to be bundling all day together. You're going to leave with a bundle um, that you can sell in your store. And then Friday, we're going to be walking through the trade show where we're going to have these conversations with vendors. We're going to set you up with accounts. It's going to be great. So mommyincome.com slash workshop. I'm personally inviting you. There's some spots left, but I'm just excited about the core group we already have. Um, we're we're going to just accomplish a lot. I'm hoping to get two or three bundles into the hands of uh, the workshoppers this coming up. And so I'm excited for that. You guys, I know you could spend this short time doing something else, listening to something else, I don't take that for granted. I'm really, really thankful that you're here every week spending your 30 to 60 minutes with me and um, hopefully growing as a person and as a business owner and as an entrepreneur. Um, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for allowing me to be into your AirPods every single week. Um, and thank you for supporting us here at Mommy Income with um, we for 2023 have lots planned for um, bringing you the best most up-to-date um, information for wholesale bundling to help you grow your business to help you um, even exit your business if that's something you want to do we're here to support you in entrepreneurship in business and um, we're going to be offering a lot more um, than just wholesale bundles this coming year so stay tuned um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and we'll see you in 2023